Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is my third version of this video. The first one, I actually didn't hit record. The second one uh, was a meandering mess, and the third time's a charge, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, I, I had a really, really good day on YouTube yesterday. I, even though I had like five recorded videos, um, I had enough like there was like enough new things to talk about that were interesting. I had a real good, you know, uh, uh, great views on especially the ones about the Thundercats, but then also about the Captain Marvel. And then I had another one that was you know a solid base hit, and I was just feeling really great about YouTube like um, you know my uh, uh, my views over the past year and change have been how do you say that are they flatlined or is it a steady heartbeat <laughs> well you know they've been let's uh, let's be nice and say dependable uh, <laughs> they have neither gone up significantly or down I have I have a dependable audience I'm very grateful for that but my views of other people have plummeted so I woke up this morning and this is why I had to trash uh, my second video because I was being a little half-stepping ass bitch. So one thing, all these people are still my friends, but I gotta tell you, there is not a device that can be created that can measure how little I care about Onision, Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina-scented candle, or the box office of Little Women also Doctor Who or a bunch of other things that people are talking about. Again, I'm in this really frustrating position of people I like, I don't like their channels. And then people who don't like me, like cartoonist Kayfabe, I watch basically everything they do. So I've talked before about how I got into YouTube. Originally it was something I would just check twice a year when I wanted to know literally like, how, how, do, I, how do I install uh, 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 spark plugs on a uh, Kia Soul. Um, I've actually never had to work on my uh, my Kia Soul has been amazing. The only thing I've ever had to do is the uh, the AC system basically kind of just died and need, needed a full replacement. Amazingly, like 1,000 miles after the warranty ended, and that's it. I had to replace the windshield, but that was because I didn't fix the crack for like six months. That was a weird one. So I'm not very handy when it comes to uh, cars. So I got a crack in my windshield. I was like, eh, big deal. And then it was there for like four months. And then I was watching a Safe Light commercial. Uh, I was out of town and they showed like a spider web windshield and they're like, did you know that small ding can turn into a spider web? I was like, oh, I, did, I didn't, I literally did not know that. I'm going to Safe Light tomorrow. I came outside, the, the, you know, the temperature, the rain or whatever, humidity. Uh, I had a completely spiderweb destroyed windshield like r right after I learned it. How does that even happen? So anyway, yeah, YouTube content is trash these days like I cannot find any thing to watch and uh, You know, I've, I've talked to some of my friends I, I've brought a couple of my friends like bro seriously, bro, and they're like bro It's, it's what's working, bro. It's like it's not working for me, bro. So um, I am still subscribed to our friendship uh, <laughs> To your channel uh, I would say I mean I had this thing where I, I Unsubscribed to most of them about two weeks ago, and it felt weird. It's like they're my friends. I should be subscribed I'm like holy shit like when when you wake up and you check out your feed and you're just like holy shit you're annoyed yeah it probably you should be uh, unsubscribing so I did a video a couple um, weeks ago about like how to have a, a semi successful YouTube channel and uh, that video did uh, solid uh, but the funny thing is is I forgot to say one of the main things that I wanted to say at the beginning uh, is that um the the need to push out content on a regular basis it's like the heat death of the universe it's inevitable it destroys everything uh, cable TV uh, weekly comics and YouTube because eventually you're gonna run out of things to say at the at the level that you used to have eventually there's gonna be just less interesting things to talk about and then you're gonna put out lower tier content just to fill a void to fill a shelf, to fill the six o'clock news, to fill you know the need that you feel like you need to have something out there, um, uh, and uh, it happens to the best of them. It happens to the best of them. 
Um, uh, I feel like I've gone through peaks and troughs. There's been times where my views are down and I'm, I'm so frustrated. You know, like, like I said, nobody blames the algorithm. When it's not algorithm, it's algorithm. You know, it's some guy out there who watches your stuff. You're putting out whack content, you're gonna have whack sales or whack views. I mean, you know, there are exceptions to any rule, but every time I've been like, oh man, the algorithm's really screwing me. And then I do an interesting uh, video and oh, it's amazing. It's amazing, the algorithm did not affect my good video that was actually interesting. Um, but I've got, so this is the thing I forgot to say in that video. I have been convinced that the algorithm mainly samples like the first 100 to 500 views you have on a video, maybe even like the first 50. And so those first 50 people, uh, if they click out early, if they thumbs down, but I think especially if they just click out early, that's what affects more than anything. So you got to come out of the gate, be an interesting, um, and then you'll, you know, you're going to have uh, good times. But man, when I see people trying to fill, when I see people think, talk about things I don't think they're interested in just because there's nothing out there to talk to or like, oh, you know, when I brought up this like last week, it got good views. Is it still getting good views? Is it really? I got to say, you know, um, Jeremy Hambly, even though I believe right now, I believe he's working full time off of his YouTube and, you know, his merch sales. He always says, he goes, don't make YouTube a job. Do not make YouTube a job. And what, what he's saying is, you know, a job you got to go in, you know, every day or at least five days a week. Now, what he says is, you know, what he's talking about directly is don't rely on YouTube revenue because the monetization is crazy and you can lose it in a day. But I'm saying that don't make it a job because then you're just going in just to work. You know, sometimes you go to work. I once got hired at uh, Hewlett Packard for a, a six month assignment that ended up being uh, like uh, six weeks because I'm seriously, I think they put a decimal point in the wrong place. They're like, uh, uh, we gotta, uh, um, you know, fix a uh, hundred thousand servers and then it had been being like 10,000. So we burned through all of the work in like four weeks. Then we sat around for another week and then we all got fired on the sixth week. Um, but you know, there are jobs, I've been in factory jobs where you know, you just sit there, you just wait, you know, we're waiting for, you know, the. The, from the product so we can't create anything so you're just gonna sit here and get paid just to watch the you know the whatever you call it spin what is it called the thing that moves the things down the past you that thing <laughs> I am very good at speaking English um, but uh, yeah so that and that's not good for those businesses as, as well you're paying all those people to be there and, and you're, you're putting out no product so uh, in my opinion YouTube is for a c couple things Number one, when you have a, just a really interesting take on something that other people are not talking about, or you're the first person to talk about it. You know, it's, it's good for topicality. You can get a, a new subject up there faster than, you know, the nightly news or anything like that. I mean, I mean, unless they're like breaking into, you know, because the president was assassinated or something like that. Um, man, I grew up in the 80s and people were just getting murked constantly murked and shot that was just like life man pope's getting shot ronald reagan's getting shot everybody's getting shot princess dies dying that was a little bit on the nose um they should have called her princess live yeah princess live dies yeah like her name is it's like Liv tyler but it was like prince can you imagine that princess live dies that's ironic um uh but uh yeah, you got to have something to say, man. If you don't have something to say, uh, honestly, I, unemployment's really low right now. Like, normie jobs need people. And honestly, if I did not have comics, I would definitely still be doing a normie job. In fact, I, I, I'm driving right now, and people are driving to their normie jobs, and I'm just wondering what they're doing. I feel like it's probably more interesting than almost every video I've gotten in my subscription feed over the last 24 hours. So I'm not gonna run this video in the ground, and also I think I, I might almost be missing out on breakfast tacos. Cause cool, let's just crash into each other. Yeah, why not? I mean, I have a turn signal, but we should definitely both die because you don't want to slightly take your foot off the accelerator, there, buddy. In the white SUV. 
Um, but uh, yeah, so um, don't take it personal if I'm not subscribed to you. I won't take it personal if you're not subscribed to me. We could just talk. You can just DM me if you got something to say. You're like, I, I saw someone, they said they, they named the dust you get on your fingers from Cheetos. Yeah, go ahead and DM, you know, DM me or email me or, you know, Skype call me about that. Oh my gosh, I just said breakfast tacos and I got ridiculously hungry. I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, so yeah, so uh, basically um, uh, uh, YouTube has become less interesting to me than cable TV and I'm actually considering getting cable TV again. So what are the solutions? Wait until you have something interesting to say. You might have four amazing topics in one day and then you might not have anything interesting for four days and I think that's better. Don't don't try to turn YouTube into a career. Keep your normie job, you know? Get that 401k. Oh man, I just found out about acorns. You know about acorns? Let me tell you about acorns. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking hungry. It's ridiculous. Um, uh, so acorns is this app you set up on your phone and, and so when you go to buy breakfast tacos and it's, you know, whatever, $6.42, it then automatically puts your other 58 cents into some sort of investment fund. That is more interesting to me. I, I was, I'm like, so, and I'm going to go buy a bunch of candy bars just so I can just start, but I, I, I know, I know. I also, I, yeah, I finally got the, the retired, you know, the SEP IRA for, um, self-employed, uh, people. That's actually not what SEP stands <laughs> Self-employed people IRA. It's, it's, it's almost what it stands for. Uh, P is for plant. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's getting to be that not only is, is, is cable TV more interesting to me than YouTube, than, but like apps that help you save pennies are just fascinating to me. So again, you got awesome ideas, by all means, share them. Keep your YouTube channel, but really concentrate on your day job, you know, like just good economy, put, put, those, put those acorns away, stack that paper like Grant Card Cardone says. I mean... Honestly, eventually you'll probably have to go to a normie job anyway. You know how awkward it's going to be to tell... You're know, like, so what have you been doing uh, five years? Oh, it's like, oh, I've been talking about Onision. R what? He's crazy. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> like, having that two-year, three-year, five-year hole in your in your work history is going to look really bad to a future employer not all, you, you know, you're like i don't want to go back to a regular job really they're they're okay you know it gets you out of the house it gets you to talk to other people you get to work on some projects it's interesting it's more interesting than youtube definitely definitely more interesting so um yeah uh, talk about interesting stuff when you got to talk about it and when you don't you know just work your regular job uh uh get cool apps like acorn acorn it's amazing i'm so interested in it uh, <laughs> but anyway thanks for watching subscribe make sure you're still subscribed hit the bell for notification uh thanks to everyone gives the gofundme and the indiegogo you're funding original content and an original lawsuit uh, uh and i will have youtube videos when i have something interesting to say and uh I, well it's, I'm being kind of hypocritical because I'm still trying to go through a backlog. So uh, I've got a, uh, a membership now. And the membership is pretty cool, especially if you're a real fan of the channel. Because you're going to get uh, videos pretty much as soon as I record them. Uh, I'm still working out, you know, uh, how, to, how to do that. But uh, people have been happy with it uh, in general. But I also have, it's like, I've got like 20 Spider-Man back issues. They're good back issues. They're, you know, Todd McFarlane, Eric Larson, Mark May Bagley. They're, they're good stories, but do I really want to spam 20 different Spider-Man videos to my regular viewers? Eh, probably not. But if you're really into back issues, you'll, you'll be able to see all those. Um, and then also, you know, like, uh, if, like yesterday I had the one about Stan Lee, uh, but I just put out a new one. So, uh, the people with the membership got to do that. But once I work through this backlog, my plan, and I've been talking to friends, my plan is to do kind of more quality edited stuff. I don't know if it's going to be scripted, but I think it'll be outlines. I still, to this day, cannot tell if just some guy is 
scripted, he has an outline, or he's just so focused in his thoughts that he can speak, you know, without stuttering and without drifting off topic. Uh, but that's what I think I'm gonna do. Um, so I'm not. Um, I, we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I make enough off of my publishing company to live. I don't need a normie job. I'm, I'm a, I'm a self-employed uh, businessman, just like Grant Cardone. Um, uh, Grant Cardone videos are so much more interesting <laughs> than the content I usually uh, listen to. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to uh, probably go, I, I would say more of like Mim Headroom, Just Some Guy style videos than just me saying, uh, boy, I've had some amazing uh, videos uh, where people are like, your, your, your video is so much better. It's like, yeah, I just spent 15 minutes editing out the uhs and ums and me talking about Rent, the musical. By the way, what's the deal with the with uh, uh, Tom Collins, the character on Rent? He's a he's a assistant professor at NYU, but he seems to be the most broke of everyone. He's like living off his girlfriend, who is a uh, uh, like plays drums on the street. It doesn't make any sense, and and he keeps bringing up how broke he is. He's like, I got no money. I got no. Mm, do you? I think he's putting all his money into acorns, and then he's just pretending to be poor. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.